Well, I've got something here that's really not all that shocking. Just the fact that these Ishmaelite Muslim migrants are just running rampant over in Germany and just doing what these Ishmaelite Muslim migrants do best, being wild man. Okay, in Genesis 16, verse 11 and 12, talks about Ishmael, you know, a uh, wild man. And these Muslims are, are spiritual descendants of Ishmael. So I would expect them to behave and, and conduct themselves in a manner that would be applicable to how a wild man would behave. Okay. But this is over in uh, Germany. These uh, Ishmaelite Muslim migrants have literally blown up, you know, 500 ATMs. They're just running around causing all kinds of mayhem. It says here on uh, Jihad Watch, Moroccan Muslim migrant gangs blow up 500 ATMs. Muslim migrants, economic migrants who pretend to be asylum seekers, come to Europe hoping to take advantage of every benefit the rich welfare states of the continent offer. Free or greatly subsidized housing, free medical care, free education, family allowances, unemployment benefits, even without having to be employed previously. Uh, these migrants are in no hurry to be employed. Even if they, even, sorry, if they find they need more money than the state provides, they turn to street robberies, house burglaries, and drug trade. Why should Muslims, the best of people, not the best of people, not help themselves to the wealth of the most vile of created beings, the infidels, and naturally the sums of these state provinces, or that are taken by Muslim criminals from their infidel victims, should be seen as some kind of prolific jiz uh, jizya? Yeah, exactly. You know, it's it's funny how these Muslim migrants have no problems doing business with the non-Muslim, you know, vile creatures that you know they would view non-Muslims as, but then you know they would speak about that they'd speak that way about non-muslims but then have no do have, have no uh problem doing all kinds of business and essentially escaping for welfare and free housing and free money to the the vile non-muslim you know the, these vile creatures who run these non-muslim states <laughs> yeah a bunch of hypocrisy but it says in the article now muslim migrants mainly from morocco have found a new and most profitable way to make money they blow up atms in germany and make off with the wives of the waves of cash stored in their innards more on the story can be found here 500 atms blown up by muslim sorry by migrant gangs in germany in 2022 is setting a new record by john cody this is on Remi uh, remix news it says in germany this uh, this past year a new record was set 500 atms were blown up by migrant gangs a new record Organized demolition crews, mostly made up of Moroccan migrants, are putting German lives at risk, at risk with their high explosive ATM heists. Organized criminal gangs, active in the Netherlands and France, mostly made up of, of uh, Mar uh, Moroccan Muslim migrants, are blowing up ATMs in, Ger ATMs in Germany at the record at record pace, at a record pace in high professional robbery operations. In 2022, government statistics indicate that they blew up uh, 500 such machines was statistically more than one machine being blown up every day. Oh wait, hey, you know, stealing is allowed. They can steal from the non-Muslims in the Quran. So, hey, they're just going to be a bunch of thieves because, well, you know, they're imitating their father or their spiritual father, Ishmael, and also their spiritual father, the devil as well. I'll just point that out. But it says, continuing on in the article, the cash remains popular with Germans and to feed this demand, banks operate nearly 100,000 ATMs located throughout the country with the machines routinely, routinely containing up to uh, 50,000 to 100,000, I think it's euros they use. Uh, criminal gangs are taking advantage of this and they are willing to use extreme methods to gain access to this money. These criminal networks are said to be meticu said to meticulously plan their operations out, including initial surveillance, demolition, and the gateway. Uh, so in the getaway, sorry. The police also say they act brutal with brutality and ruthlessness, putting human lives at risk. So think of how much money these gangs are making off with. If ATMs in Germany contain, on average, 75,000 euros, and in 2022, 500 ATMs are blown up, then their cash contents uh, made off with that amounts to a total of 37.5 million euros stolen from in Germany alone. And since these Moroccan gangs are also found to, are also to be found in the Netherlands and France, nothing is keeping them from blowing up ATMs in those countries as well. Hey, they're just stealing from the uh, the non-Muslims, so they're just, you know, doing what their, their pedo false prophet Muhammad would have done, and also conducting themselves in a manner that is, again, wild man. You know, Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12. 
It says the explosives are. It says in the article, the explosives are so powerful they have blown up off steel door. Uh, sorry, blown the steel doors off the ATM machines, causing them to fly up to 90 feet away. The physical damage is thus not to to the destroyed ATM. There is also a great destruction around the ATMs in the buildings where they are located. Wait, sorry, where they are located. To the estimated 37.5 million euros stolen last year from ATMs, one has to add the many more millions. Of sorry, the many millions of euros in damages to the buildings in which the ATMs have been placed, and anyone hit by a flying ATM door or metal debris will uh, will certainly be will almost certainly be killed. Though this has not yet happened yet, it says uh, you know although, although the final number of such bank heists have not yet been released in 2022, according to police sources obtained by. Welt am Sontag, there are 500 of such attacks reaching a record high. Germany's interior minister is now holding high-level meetings on the issue, but it appears the robbery crews show little sign of, of slowing down. In 2021, the Federal Criminal Police reported that there were uh, four, 414 cases of attempted or successful demolitions, while 2020 saw similar numbers. Authorities describe how the gangs are most active in the west of Germany, with the most populous state, North Rhine-Westphalia, I think that's how you say it, Along with Lower Saxony, the most popular targets. For one, these regions are the closest states to the, ne to the Netherlands, where the gangs are most active. Although some gangs also operate out of France, which is also nearby. Well, not a surprise it's going on over in France. It's just a safe haven for these Ishmaelite Muslim migrants. But what we're seeing here is, again, the proof of the truth of Genesis 16, verse 11 and 12. The uh, Ishmael, you know, these Ishmaelite Muslims acting like wild men, these spiritual descendants of Ishmael. It's to be expected. This is not surprising to me one bit. And, and, and Germany letting in all these Ishmaelite Muslims was a huge mistake because these Ishmaelite Muslim migrants are not going to conform because how do, you, how do you get a wild man to conform? You can't really do that, can you? But of course, you know, they're going to keep, you know, importing all these, you know, essentially destroying their own culture and importing these just endless ways of these Ishmaelite Muslim wild men. So I wanted to just show you guys that. Just insanity, but hey, what do you expect from uh, Western, you know, democratic liberalism, which essentially is the ruin of these European nations. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.